US dollar muted after ISM data, loony jumps on Canada rate hike. The US dollar edged lower against major rivals on Wednesday as Federal Reserve Vice Chairman Stanley Fisher announced his resignation, while also registering a steep drop against Canada's currency after the Bank of Canada unexpectedly lifted its benchmark interest rate. The decision to raise the rate by a quarter of a percentage point to 1% marked the second hike of the year by the Bank of Canada, which cited stronger than expected economic data and a slowly cooling housing sector as reasons for the decision. Last week, Canada's annualised second quarter growth came in at 4.5% compared with expectations of 3.3%. The decision was a bit of a surprise Mark McCormick, head of North American FX strategy at TD Securities, said. We were looking for a hawkish hold and we got more of a dovish lift. The bank's policy statement also included a healthy dose of caution, including geopolitical tensions, uncertainties around trade policies, as well as the weakness of the US dollar which helped the loony, as the Canadian currency is known, to recent gains. The ICE US dollar index DXY, minus 0.17% a gauge of the greenback's performance against six rivals, was off 0.2% at 92.109. The WSJ dollar index BUXX, minus 0.14% which measures it against a larger basket of currencies, was 0.2% lower at 85.17. The buck dropped to C$1.2230 against the Canadian dollar USDCAD, minus 1.2849%, its lowest since May 2015, down from C$1.2375 late Tuesday in New York. During Tuesday's session, the loony hit a more than two-year high against the dollar. Consensus expectations among analysts was that a rate increase was more likely later in the year than this month. Next, the focus will shift to Friday's employment report for Canada. With the loony trading far inside its 100-day moving average of one Canadian dollar and 31 cents, data surprises will likely start to decelerate now, McCormick suggested. Elsewhere, the European Central Bank will come into focus on Thursday. Investors are waiting to see if ECB President Mario Draghi and his colleagues will signal that its massive bond buying program, paced at 60 billion euros a month, will continue after its scheduled end in December or if it will be wound down. The euro eurozed plus 0.1259% fetched $1.1939, up from $1.1915 late Tuesday in New York. The market remains wary of any jawboning by President Draghi at tomorrow's ECB meeting but for now the woes in the US appear to trump those concerns said BK Asset Management's Managing Director of FX Strategy Boris Schlossberg. Irma's path he was referring to Hurricane Irma, described as a potentially catastrophic Category 5 storm in the Atlantic Ocean. It already made landfall in the Caribbean and the storm is seen heading toward the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico and Florida, where a state of emergency has been declared. The US may be in the path of a second devastating natural disaster whose damage could be in the tens of billions. Under those conditions, it is almost impossible to imagine any Fed tightening by year's end and a result the US 10-year, Treasury, yield is now dangerously close to 2%, which continues to weigh on the dollar said Schlossberg. Hurricane Harvey recently flooded Houston and prompted oil refineries in the US Gulf Coast to shut down. On Tuesday, Fed Governor Lyle Brainard said interest rate increases might have to be slowed down as recent inflation data have undercut targets. Fed Vice Chairman Stanley Fisher announced his plans to resign from office in mid-October for personal reasons on Wednesday, meaning he will leave ahead of his term end in June 2018. His resignation presumably lowers the odds of Chair Janet Yellen being nominated for a second term when her current one expires early next year according to Paul Ashworth, chief U.S. economist at Capital Economics, 
adding that without additional clarity, markets will just jump to conclusions, as Yellen and Fisher are considered close and similarly positioned on monetary policy questions. Elsewhere in the currency market, the dollar USDP, plus 0.18% strengthened marginally against the Japanese yen to 108.87 yen, little changed from 108.81 yen late Tuesday. Against the Swiss franc USDF, minus 0.0105% the greenback bought 0.9549 francs, slightly less than the 0.9553 francs on Tuesday. The British pound buzzed, plus 0.2379% registered slight gains against the buck, buying $1.3066, compared with $1.3033 late Tuesday. The Institute for Supply Management said its non-manufacturing index rose to 55.3% in August from 43.9% in July, which was the lowest reading of the past year. A figure above 50% generally indicates growth. In other U.S. data, the trade deficit widened to $43.7 billion, compared with $43.5 billion before, which can be traced back to a small decline in exports. Both exports and imports were dragged down by a drop in motor vehicles, which matches the already reported fall in output and shipments for July Ashworth said.